cultural heritage extends beyond tangible artifacts. It encompasses the traditions and living expressions that we have inherited from our ancestors and continue to pass on to future generations. China now has over 1,500 forms of national-level intangible cultural heritage, or ICH. The country has given high priority to the preservation of ICH, and Chinese academic institutions are taking on the responsibility of nurturing more professionals in this area. 那么对于非遗来讲呢，它有很多的记忆是要口传身授，所以呢，我们很难开展大规模的培养。那么，更多的是采取了小范围的，呃，师带徒的这样一种形式来进行传承和学习。Here at the Shanghai Art and Design Academy, a lacquer art class is taking place. Utilizing the characteristic of lacquer being insoluble in water, the creation process involves dripping various colored lacquers into water, blending them into a desired pattern, and then slowly submerging a round silk fan into the water. This allows the abstract colors to transfer onto the fan's surface. Each piece is unique, representing a collaborative process between the artist, water, and lacquer. This is a new attempt at combining lacquer art with different materials to create works that are more accessible in everyday life scenarios. 作为中国土生土长的这样的一门艺术门类啊，漆艺在中国的发展其实已经有了八千年的历史。那么我们的大漆呢，同时呢也充满了无限的可能。我们可以发现呢，它其实可以流动，也可以打磨，可以刻制，也可以刷涂，可以彩绘，也可以粘贴。对材料本身语言的这样的一种抒发，或者是观念的表达方面，都能够很好的去胜任。大漆它是流动的液体，具有很高的自由度，可以发挥我自己的想象力和创造力，然后来展现自己的个性。For educational institutions, the expense associated with instructing the next generation of intangible cultural heritage practitioners is considerable, as it necessitates the expertise of skilled masters for the imparting of practical knowledge. The school created 40 of the students. 非遗工作室的大师，呃，一对一的进行师带徒的学习，来实现非遗技艺的进一步的传承。Filled with passion for traditional Chinese craftsmanship, the young generation of ICH inheritors has also taken on responsibilities. They not only become artists in related fields, but also pass on their techniques and understanding of the art to more young people in schools. In the jewelry design and crafts course, instructors not only impart traditional craftsmanship skills such as gold and silver filigree craftsmanship, but also inspire students to incorporate contemporary aesthetics. This allows students to create jewelry designs that seamlessly combine traditional and contemporary elements. 我们是不仅是传授啊学生的这个非遗的一些记忆、一些首饰的记忆，在传递记忆的同时呢，我们也要啊把他记忆里面的这些工艺文化啊这些工艺呃工艺价值观传递给他们，呃，同时呢也希望他们呃结合现在的一些呃生活方式啊一些呃知识结构呢，让他进行一些创新。非遗文化是深沉且有内涵的。它承载了中国几千年的智慧。当我们年轻人追求个性和自我的时候，我们会探索这种传统文化。它能更好地使我们表达这种个性。Intangible cultural heritage needs not only inheritance but also development. The academy integrates ICH with modern techniques across different disciplines. One highlight is the traditional opera simulation performance system project. It uses AI-powered digital human technology to present Chinese traditional Kunshu opera. The system allows users to virtually dress up in Kunshu costumes, and their expressions and movements are captured and displayed on a virtual stage. Cultural heritage must enter into the everyday life of the citizens, to be able to integrate. 
，让老百姓能够看得到，能够能够接触得到。非遗文化也要随着现代的这个现代的文明的发展而不断的发展，啊，能够加入一些现代的一些技术手段，能够让现在的老百姓更加的从心里面喜欢去接触它。China now has a total of 43 items inscribed on UNESCO's representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Continuing to be the most enlisted country in the world, it is thus of great importance to pass on and develop traditional culture and craftsmanship to younger generations. Intangible cultural heritage survives by being passed down from generation to generation. Those who inherited it are the successors, creators, and teachers of this cultural practice. Now, with more and more young people taking up the mantle, intangible cultural heritage will surely flourish with more vitality. Bing Siyue, CGTN, Shanghai.